Welcome back to Knockout Arcade, an upcoming 2D pixel art fighting game. Last month, I released the first version of the game to the public, and since then, my focus for this sprint was to add polish to the game and add some of the most essential features that any fighting game has. In this video, I will go over the changes I've made since last month, then I'll explain what my plans are for this month. I'm also looking forward to getting more feedback on how the game plays, so if you have anything to say, you can either leave a comment on this video or go to the suggestion boards on the itch.io page. We've got quite the backlog of changes to go over, so without further ado, let's rock! First up, I want to talk about all of the new animations that have been added since the previous devlog. There's a total of four new animations for Russell. Getting up, which happens after getting knocked down, low blocking, which is blocking while crouching, a whole new intro animation that plays at the start of the match, and I finally got around to putting in a back throw, which you can perform by holding the back button while pressing throw. It sends the opponent pretty high up, but you can't combo off of it. I might make it a combo throw in the future though, I'll just have to experiment. Animations are where I spend the majority of time developing this game. It can take anywhere from 3 to 10 hours just to make a single animation, and there's still plenty of animations I have yet to do, such as running, teching, a round win, special moves, etc. While making the animations definitely takes a long time, it's so worth it to see everything come together. The intro animation probably took me the longest in terms of hours spent working, and it was even more of a hassle trying to get it into the game. I still need to do some refactoring behind the scenes, but for the most part it seems to work, so that's good. As you can probably tell, I've added one of the most important features of any fighting game in this patch, the combo counter. As you hit the opponent, the counter increases, and once they fall out or you drop the combo, the counter resets. Very simple, yet very surprisingly tricky to actually implement. I had to keep track of the opponent who's getting hit to make sure they're either still in hit stun or not knocked down so that the combo can continue. There's a lot of different factors that can influence how long a combo goes on for. Nonetheless, this feature alone adds so much to the game, as it makes combos more flashy and impressive when you can see how long they've gone on for and it also helps make this game feel more professional and like a real fighting game. Another change I've made is the timer at the top of the screen. The game now actually ends when the timer reaches zero, whereas previously it would disappear and the match would continue. Whoever has the most health when the round ends wins. If both players are tied for health, no one is awarded a point. There's also a new round start text that wasn't there in the first build. It always displays round one though, so it's not the most helpful thing in the world. That's something that'll definitely get around to changing by the time of the next devlog. Now let's go over some of the gameplay changes I've made since the last devlog. The first thing I want to go over is that Russell can now do a short hop by briefly tapping up on the control stick. This lets you do aerials closer to the ground, giving you more mix-up options and better ways to pressure the opponent. It's also harder to anti-air since you don't go up as high. As a result, however, Russell now has 5 frames of pre-jump instead of 3 frames. I plan to give all of the characters the same amount of pre-jump frames, so hopefully I don't have to change that number in the future. I increased the amount to make it easier to perform short hops, as I found trying to do it with only 3 frames was a little too difficult. But then again, Smash Bros also has 3 frames of jump squat, and I can do short hops just fine in that game. This might be something that I have to experiment with. I think it mostly comes down to the travel time on the control stick for me, since an arcade stick has to spend more time going from neutral to up to back to neutral again, than any other controller. I'm trying to design this game so that all types of controllers can play, including the new hitboxes that have recently been making a splash in the FTC. Controller parity is going to be a big thing in the future, so I'm planning ahead for now. This includes things like handling two opposite directions at the same time, which is something that basically any controller can do except for arcade stick. Right now, if two opposite cardinal directions are being held at the same time, they cancel out and you get a neutral input. This goes for both left and plus right, and up plus down. Some more things are going to certainly be added to help with controller parity, but that's something for future me to handle. Other than that, there actually aren't too many gameplay changes compared to the previous devlog. I made Russell's standing jab combo connect more consistently, but other than that, it's pretty much the same as before. In the previous build, if you stood at the edge of the jab's range, the combo wouldn't connect. Now it connects much more reliably. I know that isn't the most interesting change log in terms of balance, but I didn't really get to a lot of the balance changes in this patch, it was mostly for polish. My main goal for this sprint was getting the game to feel more like an actual fighting game. This next sprint will have a lot more mechanics implemented. I plan to get at least a few of Russell's special moves made, as well as a way for the game to handle motion inputs. 
I plan on having motion inputs work a little bit differently compared to other fighting games, so stay tuned for how I implement it. I also plan on adding combo staling to, into the game, since you get so much damage off of a single jab. It's a very important mechanic that all fighting games have, as it allows for long combos that don't completely break the game. I also plan to allow users to reassign their controls on the character select screen and to finally have a scrolling stage. I also need to add a few more animations for Ashul, such as a round win and a tech roll. I'll explain how teching works in the next devlog. I have a few more things planned for next month, but other than that, that about wraps things up for me in this devlog. Sorry if it was a bit shorter than the first, I've been pretty busy with school and stuff, but I'm hoping to find more time to work on the game. I've been uploading a new build of the game every two weeks so far, so if you're looking for an update before the next devlog, be sure to check out the itch.io page where you can download the game. I might even have a few new surprises in store for the next devlog, but you'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check the game out and leave any feedback in the comments or on the suggestions page. Here's some footage of some basic combos you can do to help get you started. I'll see you all next month with another Knockout Arcade devlog!